In ancient Japan, there was a man who had always been lucky in life. He had been born into a good family and so inherited the title of samurai. Feeling tired, he tied his horse to a rock and slept lying on it. But the samurai awoke, startled by the neighing of his horse. The animal had shrunk and was being carried by an ant towards a small hole in a rock. The samurai tried to grab the horse by the tail, but ended up falling for the spell that made him shrink just like his animal. The samurai and the horse took a mythical journey to another spiritual plane. They came to an obscure place and had no idea where they were. They found large rice fields where several workers were working under the aegis of demons. That place could only be the land of the Oni, the terrifying Japanese demons. A huge red demon walked up to the samurai, probably the demon lord. The man thought quickly and had an idea. He took a bow before the creature and offered his noble horse to the demon. Oni was pleased, since it was unusual for him to receive gifts willingly. He usually grabbed everything he wanted. As a sign of his goodwill, he allowed the man to return to mortal land, rewarding him for his horse. The demon handed the man a sack full of gold, as he knew that greedy men worshipped that worthless metal in the land of demons. He said the man could return to the earthly dimension, but he could never talk about the secret passage in that mysterious rock. And the samurai returned to his world. Upon his return, the samurai opened the heavy bag that had been handed to him and was impressed by the fortune. He was indeed a lucky man. As a newly rich man, he decided to abandon his daimyo and buy a beautiful estate to enjoy life. He lived his days spending his money on women and drink. His attitude quickly caused him to lose his assets. He became a penniless alcoholic. And that's when his luck deserted him. He was now a ruined ronin who tried to drink in the taverns However, the owners refused to serve him because they knew he had no money. So the ronin began to boast, saying that he was a friend of an oni and that everyone would regret what they were doing. The customers and the tavern keeper laughed at him, saying that if he was able to prove his claim, he could drink for free for the rest of his life. Sasaya Hirokazuemon led everyone to the mysterious rock. He was looking for the entrance hole but couldn't find it. Meanwhile, everyone was laughing at the man who seemed to have gone crazy from drinking so much. Suddenly, the man began to be swallowed by the hole that opened in the rock. All those present were frightened and ran away. The man fell at the feet of the demon king who scolded him for being so stupid. The demon took him to his sharp teeth and said he wanted to devour the promise breaker. But death would almost be a blessing for the former samurai's crime. He was condemned to work forever in the rice fields under the lashes of the Onis. He was very lucky in life and never used it to do good. All the fruits of his good fortune were wasted. <laughs>